Happy New Year. It is uh, the first week in January and I'm going to stop by Ecclefina Creek System. Uh, this creek system is in the Florida Panhandle and it passes through Jackson, Washington, and Bay Counties. And uh, we're headed on over to uh, Pitt and Sylvan Springs, it's a little park. It's been a while since we've been over here and I just thought we'd swing by and check out and see how it looks. This is the entrance to Pitt and Sylvan Springs Recreation Area. It's open from 8 a.m. to sunset. If you come here during the summertime or any of the warm months, the crowds will pretty much have the parking lot taken over. They do have a parking lot out by the road that we passed. So you can park there and walk. They do have some picnic tables out here, so you can bring your charcoal and you can grill and have a little picnic and gathering, family gathering. There is still a pretty good amount of shade from the palm trees that they planted out here, so that's pretty nice. Even though if you can look around behind this area, all the way around, mostly, the majority of the trees Michael took out. So. That's a shame, but they'll grow back. And there's all your rules and regulations for when you're going swimming into the, the spring here. This is pit springs that we're gonna look at right here first. That water's crystal clear and very cold. So there's plenty of boardwalks around this place, plenty of seating. Again, it can get pretty busy out here during the summertime. You'll have to excuse me today, it's pretty windy today. It's supposed to be a storm moving in tonight in the Northwest Florida. But, uh, so the wind's up pretty high, but anyway, there's plenty of, there's plenty of walkways. This one here specifically leads out to Ecclefina Creek and again, this is a great place to, to kayak in. If you've never been on Ecclefina Creek, check it out. It's, it's one of the most beautiful in our area. Uh, there's no diving out here. It's pretty shallow, by the way. So I wouldn't do that. This is from the creek. This is where, uh, this is where Pitt Springs feeds out into Ecclefina. And Ecclefina is pretty pretty clear, but you can see the tannic in the water where it mixes in with this beautiful spring water. It's like a beautiful oasis. I love it. And this is another a newer uh, path that leads out to Ecofina. I think the last time I came they were still working on this so it's it's been a while since I've been. A couple of ropes from the trees over there. Nice little floating platform so you can swim out here or you can I mean whatever you want to do it's beautiful.
So that's Pitt Springs right there. Gotta say it's very beautiful. Looks just as good as it did the last time I came. Minus the trees. But uh, that's it. And I'll take you over here and we'll look at the uh, amenities, if you want to call them that. <laughs> the bathrooms. So, all right, well, this little sign, it gives you a little information about Pitt and Sylvan Springs. Shows you the trail. Shows you where we're at. We're here, that's Pitt Springs. This is your parking area. And if you take this trail, and there's your bathrooms. If you take this trail, it'll be this, it'll be right here. It'll take you over, all the way over to Sylvan Springs. I've never been in Sylvan Springs, but there's a ton of springs out here on this Ecofina Creek, all over the place. So they're easy to find. You just gotta know where to look. And the good thing is, it's free. Just take care of it. Here's the amenities, the facilities, if you need to go to the restroom. There's just a hole in the ground with about uh, composting toilets, just like it says. So you got those. It's better than not having anything at all. You get a little privacy. And this is your trail that goes out to uh, Sylvan Springs and on over to Williford. You'll come to a you'll come to a crossroads here, right or left. And if you take the right. You go back to the creek, Ecofina, to Blanche. And then take a left, Sylvan Springs and the Strickland parking area. So let's go check out the to Blanche. All right, so here's your to Blanche if you wanna do that. Got another floating platform careful going down these stairs but they're in good shape and if you look let's see if I can not fall on the water okay you got the creek here and then you got the spring I believe that's Sylvan spring it's a spring coming out into Ecofina. Curves all the way around and goes on south. Okay, so we're back to our, our our turning point, right or left. So we're gonna go we're gonna go out this way to uh, the left side towards the springs, Sylvan Springs. So we'll check that out when we get there. This is part of the it's part of the spring. Although this water isn't moving much, so it's kind of stagnant looking. But um, you can tell it's spring water because it's so clear. Since all these trees have cleared out from uh, the hurricane, you can actually see the parking lot that's above um, the Pitt and Sylvan Springs parking lot. I forgot, Williford? I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, there's another one up above here, another parking lot. You can probably see the cell tower up there at the top. That's where the parking lot is up there. Uh, that's where this trail will come out if you continue on it. But we're not gonna go all that way. Now we're over here. We've made it to the, the other set of springs here. It looks like they're boiling pretty good. Oh yeah, they are. Let's see. Such a beautiful area. So that upper parking lot I was referring to is called Strickland Parking Area. If you need to know, that's what it's called. And you'll just follow this on around. It's only maybe two tenths or less of a mile up to the top of this 
little hill and it'll get you there all right we turned off to the right on a trail that i've never been down to i've never been down um, i'm thinking that this goes to williford springs but I've never been to it, so I'm not sure. I don't even know what it looks like, how big it is. It may not even be worth coming down to. But since there's a official trail, and uh, I got a little time, why not? Let's go check it out. I really have no idea how long this trail is. But it's quiet back here. Can you see all the palm trees? Kind of hard to see probably with this wide angle lens but if you look at over there there's all kind of palms growing over there anyway hopefully it's not too much further where we're going according to the map i'm only about seven minutes away from williford spring crossroads if you look at those arrows one says Williford Springs straight ahead three tenths of a mile and one says right four tenths of a mile hmm well I see water down here and no water up here I'm going this way You don't see a lot of rolling hills in Florida unless you are around the panhandle. So you can kind of see this is a downhill fall right here. That's Ecofina. And there's the trail we were coming down. So it's kind of steep in this area. I'm sure if you go by sea level, it's probably not very high at all. Is a red southern a southern red cedar we got lots of those I guess that's gonna be right there it's seen better days I got sandbags put down here to keep the embankment from washing away at the trail We must be going. We must be going to come out on one end of the Williford Springs, which makes me wonder just how big it is. If you look down in this hole, though, I'm still on the trail. If you look down in this hole, you can see water running down out of the ground. And it runs right on over there, right on out towards the spring, and it'll run eventually into Ecofina.
This tells you about the Floridian Aquifer. 100,000 square miles it covers. And here it says it's 700 feet thick and that 10 million people use the Floridian Aquifer for drinking water. Pretty interesting. I've never been to Williford Springs and this must be the park for it. So far I've seen uh, three of these lovely gigantic pavilions. That's the biggest one. Almost looks like a church. They're, they're very nice and look pretty new. As does the walkway out to the spring. This is Williford Spring. And it would appear that I picked a good day to come because nobody's here either. So here's an idea. If, if you get over to one and it's full, it's not very far to the other one. Not a lot of parking at either one of them, but you got a lot of options. Okay, so they have uh, some of those composting bathrooms that's for sure all this has been replaced very recently that's for sure and there's your bathrooms now this okay this is going to be this must be the spring if it seems like i'm a little rushed that rain I was talking about, it's starting to rain and I've still got to walk uh, probably about a half a mile back to the car, maybe a little longer. And I'd prefer not to get rained on. What has changed? Over 87,000 pounds of sediment were removed from the spring opening during the restoration process. Well, that's pretty cool. If you look out there in the middle, you can see the spring boiling. And you can also see raindrops. I don't really have time to get in this water. I wish I did. But we'll be back soon. I believe there's more trees back in here too. A little more shade. Maybe it's just me. But it kind of seems like there is. I wish I could have saw this place when the before uh, Hurricane Michael blew all the trees down. I'm sure it was gorgeous. Okay, we've gotten to Ecofina where Williford Springs runs into it, where I was showing you from the other side. And here's a little floating dock where you can put a tube in or a kayak or whatever. You know, if you wanted to do a little short trip, you could easily you could easily put in here and kayak down to the next hole. Wouldn't take you long. Me, myself, and I, I like to go further than that. So there they are. That's Willowford Springs. You got to see Pitt Springs, Ecofina, and another spring that I'm not sure if it was Sylvan or not. But hey, it's a beautiful place to come. As you can see, you cannot beat the view. And right now, hey, I know it's a little cool, but nobody's here, so why not come now? And the water's not that bad. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and come back for more content like this. And hey, if you don't mind, share it with your friends. I'd really appreciate it. Have a good day.